Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here at World Maker Fair. I'm at the Ono booth, which used to be called Olo. Yeah. But you guys changed the name. Yeah, we had to go through a rebranding, but. Not a problem. It's cool. Um, so I'm here with uh, Giacomo, who is telling me about the printer. There's lots of awesome demo prints right here, and he's going to tell me a little bit about the printer, how it works, how uh, simple it is, and how really affordable it is. So yeah, yeah uh, go ahead and, and let's, let's so take a look. So the way that it works, it works similar to other uh, DLP resin printers in that you have a light source, which is hardening resin. The difference is that our resins actually react to visible light rather than ultraviolet light. And so what that means is that you can use actually the display from your phone to harden the resin. So the way that this works is that you have your phone underneath. And here you have the resin tank with a protective film which protects the phone from the actual resin. Slide that in, pour in your resin, and close the top. On the top, you have a stepper motor, which raises and lowers the platform. And the phone just cycles through a series of white on black images. Where it's white, the resin hardens. Where it's black, it doesn't. And that's what gives you your layers. Each image is a layer, and then the stepper motor raises up, and then the next image is the next layer. Um, it's a very simple design. It's got openings on the bottom on both sides because it communicates through an audio port. So you have the audio jack, which connects to the phone and then the USB into the actual printer itself. And you can connect the printer. It takes barely any power, so you can actually take it anywhere by just connecting a regular phone external power bank and use it on the go wherever you are. That's cool. And so what's, yeah. uh, what's the build size? So the build size is about, the maximum size is about 3 by 5 by 2 inches in height. Okay. Um, but it also depends on your phone. If your phone is smaller than this, then you're limited by your screen size. Okay. So all of the slicing, all of the sort of managing the print is done through the phone, through your app? Yeah, so it's an app. We're going to have, there's a library within the app itself where you can download models similar to Thingiverse, that okay. kind of stuff. Um, but you can also upload your own or even send models to your own friends through 3D messages through the chat that we have embedded in the app. Okay. Um, then all the slicing actually happens in the cloud on our servers. That way you're not dependent on your phone specs to actually do the slicing because that could get very lengthy. And then it just sends the file back and you're ready to print. Cool. How much, uh, how much kind of, I want to say how many prints can you do in, in a bottle, but more, that's kind of, it depends on the model. Yeah. It but how much, uh, is, how much liquid is actually, resin is in the bottle? So the resins are 100 milliliter bottles, okay. um, and they're $15 a bottle. Cool. And so, right. I mean, depending on your density, like the rabbit here, which is mostly, it's pretty solid. It's most, oh, mostly solid. empty inside, actually. Yes. You can actually probably get like, 10, 15 prints that's of this good, kind okay, out of there. Scaler. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I, I looked a little bit at the, you have different types. You have like a wax, if, uh, flexible, is that right? A yeah, so we have a few. Um, actually, let me go over here and show you these models over no, here. I get it. It's better. So over here, this is actually our hardest resin, which is very stiff. Um, it's almost like PMMA. The other one, the colored resins are more kind of like ABS. Yeah. And then we've the also flexible got the flexible resin oh, right yeah. here, okay. which is actually yeah. quite flexible. That's great. It's kind of like a semi-flex. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nice. Actually, Does it have grip to it? The, the very um, is it more like a, like a matte well, finish? It's a, it's a kind of a matte finish. Um, go ahead and check it out. Cool. Yeah. No, this is cool. This is great because it's not just going to crack when you drop it. Yeah, exactly. Cool. All right. And then we also have a castable resin, um, which means that this completely evap evaporates at 400 degrees Celsius. Yeah. So you can actually use this, make a mold in ceramic or something, oh, yeah. and then just pour in gold or other metals, titanium. Right. Um, my boss actually had his wedding bands made with this printer with the castable resin and then had it forged in titanium. Wow, that's cool. How, how long does something like the ring take to print? It's more of something small. The so. ring, well, it depends because uh, with resin printers it depends entirely on the height of the yes. part. And so this way to get the right print, you still have to print it this way, which yeah. is relatively high. Um, it takes between 40 and 60 seconds per layer. 
Um, to do the full two inches, it's about four and a half, five hours okay. for a print. Yeah, I'm used to, to DLP printers being pretty long, so that's mm -hmm. not bad at all. Yeah. That's like right on par with them. Cool. All right, so how's the Kickstarter going? Are you guys on schedule? So we were fell back behind a bit because we had to go through a rebranding process, um, which pushed us back a couple months. Um, but now we're a few weeks away. We're in the final stages of getting UL certification. Okay. So after that, we should be ready to ship out to the backers. So we're hoping within a month to have all that ready and on the open market. Wow, okay, cool. Um, guys, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. And I'm sure you guys and your team can take a look at it too. We'll, we'll have this video up on YouTube. All right. um, that's it, check them out if you haven't already. Um, where, where can we find more info? So you can find more info on the site, which is ono3d.net. Okay. Um, and there we'll also have, once it's on, on the site, we'll have the e-commerce website and all that, where you can buy the printer for just $99. It's awesome. Oh, one last question I had. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of important. Since everything's being done on the phone, how do you know when the process of the print, or maybe something's going wrong, your battery's about to die, how do, how do we know that since everything's kind of enclosed? Well, I mean, as far as like battery dying and stuff, we, you should charge your phone while you're doing it. You should be plugged into the wall. Yeah, um, and then the errors, there's really not much that can go wrong. The worst case scenario, like if, the, if it's not adhering well, like you won't know that until the print's done, unfortunately, because it has to be a fully enclosed environment. But through all the tests we've done, the failure rate has been on par with other DLP printers. Um, but yeah, if there are errors like within the stepper motor, if it's, there's like a mechanical failure that the printer can recognize, there is an LED interface which warns you what's going on so there. So this guy right here. So yeah, on the top, the logo is actually an LED interface that flashes at different rates to give you information on whether it's like prepping, printing, done printing, or an okay. error. Cool. The good thing is that this is extra, oh, wow. extra resistant. You won't believe it. And to put a new one, <coughs> this sticky film, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's okay for a, a lot. And to put a new one, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 12 wow. seconds. <laughs> wow. You can even play on a Afro, a Afro dance song <laughs> festival. And that's it. It's perfect. Okay? That you have a fill line? Great. With, with, uh, with the same, with the same uh, you, you can also exchange it. Ah. And okay. when you do it one and again and again and again, you just wash it on the water. Or alcohol. Oh, okay. okay. And so it's very simple. No, wow. no scratch. Right. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. All right, guys. We'll see you.